Down stuff. What even record? All right, sorry. I, I had to restart the whole thing. Let me restart it. Reset this. Well, we're going into kind of my tutorial slash breakdown of Leo White Fang. Uh, I'm not too knowledgeable of Guilty Gear. I've been playing the game for a little bit. And I'm still learning hella stuff, but I've been watching other people with tutorials and uh, figuring out what I want to say about mine. I like Leo so far. He's a very cool character. The design is awesome. Uh, not the most fastest, not the most like mobile ones, but I like uh, he has a charge mechanic, and I like that he has kind of the kind of fireballs too. Let's get into it. I want to talk about his normals first of all. Leo has some decent normals. He has uh, the anti-air for for square uh, for a square, yeah. I like that a lot. Let's talk about his 4X. It's kind of like unique moves. That hits some, he got some decent range on that. Especially if you're like, if you were like running with it. <laughs> it hits pretty cool. Let's, oh, starting position went right again. I hate when it does that. I don't know how to actually take that off. Oh, it's this thing. Command list. This other normal is forward circle yeah forward circle forward circle is basically just it looks like overhead but not it can cobble into basically a, tr uh, tr a triangle and a circle like medium heavy slash from certain differences I guess you lose I guess you lose some of that but I like that a lot and also his other normal I'm not gonna say normal it's more of a unique thing to him if you're far away and you hold triangle like this when you hit him with that with the that slash you get this defensive stance and this defensive stance he can be able to block certain attacks uh, projectiles not so sure but like certain hit attacks he can and you can also counter with this pressing like circle you can same thing with circle too he has a defensive stance for that this one puts him in that version and this one puts him in this version and then you have your standard regular normals into it a good thing, a unique thing about Leo, Leo is he can actually cancel out his heavy slash. Not cancel out, but basically combo his heavy slash after his medium. So, like, you can do stuff like this. A lot of characters can't do that. Like, they can't just press the heavy slash and that. But Leo is a unique case on that. So, I really like that a lot. Another thing, let's talk about his super moves, the special moves, I mean. Alright, that's my alarm going off. But he has this. It's kind of like his forward, down forward uh, triangle attack, which I really like a lot. Covers a decent amount of distance. I wouldn't recommend trying to do this too much on block. Only because it leaves Leo in a kind of disadvantaged state with his frames. If you like Roman cancel it though, at least to be safe on block. The other one is kind of like that. Is this is triangle one? The circle one actually goes a lot farther, and it has the unique ability of creating a cross up. You can cancel it out like that. Another special move of his is this two charge attacks. One is like a light version, which is a triangle. One is the heavy version. Funny thing about that one is you can actually. Roma cancel it to follow behind it, lead into some stuff. This next one is kind of his uppercut. That's the light, and that's the heavy. You can be used it for anti airs. I uh, haven't been able to combo with in a certain move. It's like if you're doing if you're doing the triangle close and then. Uh, uh, crouching circle you can do it that way same thing with that one as well another one of his special moves that's kind of unique to Leo is his, uh, his back stands Leo can access a certain amount of moves and this is really kind of unique to him 
how to get into the back stands. So you get it in three different ways so you can grab. This will lead into it. To cancel it, you press down, down. That's what's, so that's one way to get into it. To get into another way, you press down for a circle, which leads into it. And as you know, you cancel it. And another way to get into it is this way. Down back triangle. Funny thing is about this move is if you don't hold the triangle for a little bit, it just leads into the regular like Leo stand. You know, you don't you want that sometimes. Just in case you had to had to not do it in case you were blocking or something. But it's really it's really a cool way to get into it. Cause you can access it in the combo. The grab is uh is good too. That can like throw them off if you uh, ever need to get into them like a close, uh, really quick way. What you can do into that stance, you can do a variety of things. So you have this. Leo had access to a counter with his dust attack now. I really like the animation of this. It's like that whole back sword thing. That's just awesome. This you have access to, kind of like your regular slash, but extension comes off from his back well, like like a little range and it comes back not not that far though you see how it is but it covers some decent ground making people kind of scared to approach you if you're going and you have your heavy slash looks like an overhead I don't think it is to me honest but it can combo into the, the triangle you had a regular kick. This one throws people off like crazy. It throws me off when people actually hit me with this. It's like, <laughs> he just focuses it out. Look at this. You can actually access a full combo off that too. Oh, I know you can do Okay. I'm discovering myself. And there's also ways you can cancel into it like mid combo, but I kind of suck at that. Because to be honest, I be messing up like when they cancel that out. So I don't do it too much. You know what I mean? I didn't even go over his, this, did I? Well, if I, if I guess I didn't, this is his kind of standard kick. But you can lead into his four one. Let's go back into the, uh, the stance real quick. And then in this stance, you actually have access to a certain other moves too, besides his normals. So this, if you do down back X, he can lead into a grab. You can use the kind of throw people off, which I like that a lot. We'll get back into it. You have access to down back circle. It's kind of like an overhead, it's like. But you can use this to get on like the wall pressure like crazy. That's a decent amount of damage on the wall as well. And then he has access to his special that, that requires you to get into the stands to use it. It's this long range, that's so like that big heavy animation type move. I like that a lot. This one though, you can do his other special, which is this way in circle. You can access that the regular way. And you can also be into the stands and do it too. It turns them around and you see the animation play out. The only one you have you can't do that to is his is his triangle one. See so it kinda just does his own thing. But the stance can actually lead into a lot of things. Now when it comes to combos we're not too experienced with them but I can tell you some decent ones that I've come to figure out. So if you do something like if you hit this regular square three times close to him this can lead into this. So let's go so stuff like that, which is really cool. This also can lead into a Roman cancel. You know, by doing Roman cancel, you press three buttons that ain't um, R1. I kind of just tap all three buttons. All three buttons are like uh, kind of how yeah, people used to do the Sparking Blast and Dragon Ball. So we can do stuff like that. Stuff like that, you see. Other, other combo I like to be known as of is um, so if you're doing, if you're trying to get some hits in with like your slashes, 
you can actually do triangle triangle like a close one into that and of course you can Roma cancel that one as well let's go over a unique property of this crouching one though which this can lead into his uppercut which is really nice and also if you guys um, want a combo like this and this you can do it in like a combo like this hits him with a wall bounce and gets him into the, the stands that you need I really like this as like a, a basic one you can do because Leo can uh, not something too complicated not something too complicated when you're trying to combo into specials, a good way just to remember how to use this like this long range special is just having a uh, triangle circle. You can add that into stuff. Like this at all. Kinda remember just hitting those two buttons, triangle circle, and then getting that motion in. And seven, and, and you could also combo into it. Not that specific one, but this one can. Um, hold on, I'm gonna get this. Oh, I'm messing up. You can combo into that one as well by ending it off with the heavy slash. I really like that a lot. If you guys are interested in also doing like dusk attack moves, I recommend kind of starting up with the kick and then pressing it some uh, like hold on. going into uh, jumping X, jumping square, jumping triangle. You don't have to press keep pressing jumping on that either. But if you manage to land the X square, I think it works. Hold on. Yeah, if it manages to land X squared, then jump again on triangle, which will work like that too. That's a pretty, pretty much a good symbol combo. What this one can lead to. You can't really do. Well, let's see. This one can lead into that triangles, triangle crouching. Let's look at this close triangle, crouching circle. And then like the, he the long range um, slash. If you want to keep kind of keep them guessing a little bit too when you throw it out, I would recommend adding this into it. Hold on. Hold hold back while pressing the triangles. And throw out your like long range move. Like you said, you can follow it up. If you guys want to get into the backstands quickly. Combo wise, you can do stuff like that. This regular circle triangle or triangle circle. So you can do stuff like that. You, you can really much experiment. You can experiment with different things with Leo. There's a lot of things in this game you can be an experience. That's why I love love it so much. Uh, I plan to get better with it, but I was saying you can do stuff like that. Remember some of the basic combos. You can also do stuff like that. So crouching, crouching. Is X is regular X a combo into dusk? Uh, crouching dust too, I think. Yeah. Another simple combo too you can do after Dusk Attack. Hey. Right. Just press the circle after that. I like you gotta find kind of ways to get um, these slashes into combos. I keep messing up. So you can do stuff like this. Doesn't even create a wall bang with that one, but you, you kind of get the gist of what Leo is kind of going for. Getting into the back stance is important. 
you always have to try to get into it as soon as possible, but it's very good to try to get stuff off into it. To play defensively, you have the options of kind of using this move, you can hold down the slashes. You can, I don't know if you can actually Roman cancel. Can you Roman cancel this? Yeah, I guess it kind of makes no sense if you do. You can do stuff like that. I'm still experimenting with the combos myself, but that's kind of like my my breakdown in, into the video for you guys. If you guys want to see more Guilty Gear, I'll be looking out for my live streams and probably do some more character breakdowns that I like. To. I like Leo so far. I might go and talk about some Angie, because Angie Mito is, he's just cool. <laughs> he has a cool design too as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to add this video out a little bit. Uh, some parts that I got to cut. Stuff like that, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you guys in the next video. Hey, say out.